Okay, everyone, get ready. Hello everyone, some of you guys were warming up with me earlier. Hello everyone, some of you were, were warming up earlier with me. We did some lower body for 10 minutes. Now it's time to jump into the upper body. Good, just give me a moment. I'll set a timer, I'll set the, this workout. Great guys, so listen to me. Welcome to upper body workout and conditioning. The session today will be split in two big blocks of work. The first block will be focused on a strength. We're gonna have three rounds of seven sets. The strength will be treated as a Tabata. That means 40 seconds working, 20 seconds rest, and we will, we will be alternating different exercises between upper body and core. Good. Once you finish that core and strength part, we're gonna move into the conditioning part. Conditioning part today is gonna be short, 12 minutes of Tabata style work. It will be 40 to 20 seconds and just four exercises for three big rounds. Got it? So here we go, guys, ready? We're gonna start with some warm up. As today the workout is focused on upper body, the focus is on mobilizing your shoulders, getting your core ready for the entire session. So everybody come with me right now, make sure you have a space. Oh, guys, before we go, just a couple of things. Remember the equipment we need today is towel. If you don't have weights, you can use a bottle of detergent or a big bottle of water. You can also use dumbbells, kettlebells, or whatever you have. Out of that, if you, st if you have access, to elastic bands, you can use elastic bands as well. I'll be providing different options for all of you to work at your own level and, and be based on what you have at home. Got it? So here we go, guys. We will start with the warm up. Follow me for the warm up. It will be a cycle of shoulder and thoracic flow for nine, eight, eight minutes. Okay? So here we go. Starting with yoga with dolphin push ups. So you're gonna start here, go down, lift. Push the hips back into that work done. That's one. Give me two more of those. That's two. And that's three. Once you finish three, look for bear crawl position. Hands on their shoulders, knees on their hips. Twist, tap your opposite shoulder and reach up. Then go back into bear crawl. Switch to the other side. Lift up. This is one each side. We're gonna do two more each side. Lift. Lift, one more each side, drive up, look down into the floor, and switch. Great, once you finish three, jump your feet close, squat as low as you can, one hand reaching the floor, or your shin bone, or your knee, and twist. We're gonna do three times this each side. Exhale as you reach the top. Well done, one more time, each side. Great, once you're done, bring your chest down into the floor, bring your hands behind your back, leave your elbows, and then close in front of you, and then open wide. Keep your chin tuck, try to look down into the floor. Just three of these ones. One more. Great, bring one hand to your back, and one hand behind your head. We're gonna do three of these alternated. So this is one, two, one more time, and three. Very nice, once you finish the flow, the cycle, we will start again from the top. Remember, dolphin push-ups. From downward dog, 
bring your head elbows down lift back into that word dog three of those that's two and that's three well done bear crawl with twist step forward bridge up three reps each leg each arm that's one That's two. <laughs> Lift it up. And that makes three. After that, remember, get into the squat. Three reaches each side. One. One. Try to twist through the shoulders, not through your legs. Exhale as you reach. Sit as slow as you can. Very nice. Chest to the floor. Remember. Reverse snow angels from the back to the front. Tuck your shin, keep your eye gaze into the floor. Great. All the way to your back, one hand behind your head. That one, that's one. That's two. And that's three. Great. That makes two cycles, Keeps, keep flowing on the same combination for the next four minutes and a half. Keep moving, that's warm up, right? Keep going. Three more, stay with me if you want, or just follow your own pace. Two, one more, and three. Great, bear crawl, twist, one, two, Yes, three times each side. That makes two. And this one makes three. Good job. Back into the squat. Sit as low as you can and reach. Three. Three. Two. Two. One. One. Chest to the floor. Snow angels. One, two, feel the rotation of your palms as you go forward, and three, one hand back, one hand forward, one, one, two, two, three, three, yes, you guess it, start again. Heels down, try to stretch your hamstrings and calves as you go downward dog. Draw with every round, you feel stronger. You're able to reach bigger ranges and you have better control. Very good. Bear crawl to bridge. Look down, add your hand. That's one of three. Keep your knees down as you transition from one position to another. Knees down, legs bend. So you will finish on that bridge position. Very nice. Into the squat reach. One, one, two, two, three, three, chest on the floor. Let's fly guys. Tuck your shin in, so you're not having an unnecessary tension on your neck. Great. One, two, three. Very nice. One minute, 50 seconds, keep flowing. Just keep flowing, everybody. Dolphin push up. Bear crawl three times, bridging each side. Drive up to your heels and to your glutes. Well done, squat with a reach. Can you feel every time you squat, you reach this point, you feel that your body is giving way to sit lower 
that means your joints are getting more range. That's how it works. So it's not about reaching that position in one go. It's about getting comfortable every time. Great. Two. Three. Nice. We still got 30 seconds. Do as much as you can. Don't rush. Just keep moving. seconds continue that flow continue that flow yeah that's time everybody now I'm gonna introduce you what's next on the on the workout we're gonna go into the strength part you can feel your muscles are prepped for doing some strengthening especially the upper body we did a lot of shoulder mobilization, we did that, a lot of activation on chest, shoulders, and back and thoracic rotation, which is key when you're doing a strength. Good? So the first exercise for 40 seconds will be single arm push-up. Watch this. You can do knees or you can even push the hips back. Got it? One hand on the hips or if you feel this is too much, you can have one hand on the floor. You can even use a slider or towel to have a semi-supported single arm push-up. When you drop, you slide out. When you press, you slide in. Or just the classic one with your knees. And if you feel like you can do more, do it on your toes. We're gonna do 40 seconds one side. Then on the next 40 seconds after the 20 seconds rest, we're gonna do supported tuck up, which is tuck up, V up, tuck up, B up, got it? For 40 seconds max reps. Then 20 seconds rest, and we will swap to the other side, single arm push up. Then 20 seconds rest, go back to the core exercise, then 20 seconds rest, and it's time for you to use the elastic band if you want. You can loop the elastic band behind you, doing push ups this way, doing push ups. But if you don't have elastic band, don't worry. I have an option for you, I got you. If you don't have elastic band, you're gonna do knees or toes, circular push-ups, switching from side to side. So we will start with the first exercise, remember, single arm push-up in five, four, it will be 40 seconds, as many reps as possible. Let's go! One hand on the floor, or one hand on sliding, you choose. So as you can feel, when you do single arm push-up, your abs are tight. You need to push your knees out to get that balance. And if you're doing feet, make sure your feet stance is wide. Keep dropping, and as you drop, elbows slightly out, but not totally open, slightly out. So your chest and shoulder, shoulder will be supporting, and it's not gonna be just on your shoulder. Keep going, seven seconds. Drop and drive. Time, 20 seconds to transition to the next move. Remember, we're gonna go tuck up, B up, tuck up, B up, starting on 10 seconds. Yes, as many reps as possible for those 40 seconds. It's about the style. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. Tuck up, B up. Don't stop it. Your legs not touching the floor. That's how, why you're supported on the floor. This is your active recovery. We're just swapping the feeling from the upper body to the middle of the body. But anyway, on that single arm exercise, on that single arm exercise, we got also some core feeling, right? Five seconds, keep going. Yeah, great, 20 seconds to transition to the other side, remember? Now we're doing the side you haven't done before. So if you did right for right side first, then you're gonna go for the left side single arm push-up. Ready? Knees wide, 
Shift your weight forward on three, two, one, let's go. Make sure you tuck the elbow so you're not overloading your shoulder. And remember, there's no need, there's no need of pushing your hips too back. If you want to do it, but still keep the weight on the upper body. Don't shift too far back. <clears throat> Exhale as you press up. <clears throat> Eight seconds. <clears throat> Try to get the best out of your time. Three seconds. Yeah, great. Let's go back into the core exercise. Remember, tuck up, be up, don't stop. This is how we rest. Seven seconds, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Non stopping. If you feel like B up is too much, you have any lower back issue, just a stick to tuck up. That's good. Or keep doing the alternated version. Use your arms to be able to lean back so your legs will feel lighter. Four, three, two, one. Very nice, 20 seconds transition. And now, this is time for the elastic band push-ups. Remember, you look behind and just do the push-ups on the floor. If you don't have elastic band, remember circular circular push up. Ready? It's gonna be 40 seconds and three, two, one, go. Just feel the pressure and don't worry if the elastic band hits your head. Just stop, readjust the elastic band right behind your back. You can see in the middle of your shoulder blades and in the middle of your hand, readjust it and go again. If you don't have elastic band, don't worry. You can stick to this one. Circular push up. Just circle around. And we're getting that feeling of constant tension. Knees or toes. Knees or toes. Well done. Good job. Get ready to go back into the core recovery. And then after this one, we're gonna go into back work. Ready? Keep going, on five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Tuck up, be up, tuck up, be up. Don't stop it, don't stop it, stay there because I need to show you what's the next move. Stay there, I'll give you a couple of options for the next move, so watch this. If you have a chair, you, you can use a chair or you can do it on the floor, just loop the elastic one on your feet and from here we're gonna do something called face pull from here you're gonna push your feet forward and leave your hands like doing a double bicep pose pull it and extend pull it and extend if you don't have elastic band it's all right i got you i got you i, I have your option here you're gonna loop the towel around your bottle of detergent or kettlebell or whatever way you have, lean forward, and we're gonna do face pull up with the towel. Starting on three, two, push the hips back, one, let's go. You can do this option. So it's exactly the same movement. From here, you lift into this position. If you're doing the detergent option, make sure you keep your back flat, your hips back, your knees slightly bent to give you support, and you're using the gravity to activate the posterior part of your shoulder and your back muscles, good? As we don't have pull-up bar on these days, this is a great version to train the same muscles. Keep, keep going, guys. So, elastic band or towel, or if you have a kettlebell or dumbbell, you can do this, good. 20 seconds rest before we go into the active recovery. What is that? Do you remember? Tuck in and legs up. Wait, don't start yet. Wait for 10 seconds. 
Just give you some time to yourself to breathe. Three, two, one, let's go. Tuck up, lift up. There you go. Don't stop it. So it's totally okay if you start to feel a big burn on the middle of your body. That's perfect. That's what we want to achieve. Stay there. That's where we want to be. Lean back if you feel you're, you're struggling with lifting your legs. Lean back, that will make your legs lighter. Three, two, one. 20 seconds rest. Next move, you can use elastic band and we're gonna do standing all break row. Got it? If you don't have elastic, elastic band, you have kettlebell, use the towel again and just lift up using the towel, using the big bottle, or if you have dumbbells, use the two dumbbells or the two kettlebells. Let's go. Right now, you're pulling up, all break row. Lifting, leading with the elbow so your hands are always below the elbow. Elbow will be higher and your hands reach only the mid of your chest. No need to bring it all the way to your face. Just mid of your chest, stand and pull. Great. Just make sure the weight you're having is challenging. If the weight is not too challenging, you can now always find options. Maybe faster reps, or maybe maybe just try to pull, pull with, us, with elastic band. Well done. What's the rest? Do you remember? Yeah. There's no rest on this one, everybody. Let's go down into the push-up. Here we go. This is the first cycle. So to start the next cycle, we don't rest. We just go. Single arm push up. How many reps you're, you're completing? Try to aim at a specific number. Maybe 10, maybe 12, maybe 15, maybe 20, and try to be consistent. There you go. Nice. On the next block, we have another block here. Now the recovery will be side crunch. So try to reach, try to reach your leg by the side. This is your recovery now, and we're aiming to the side of your torso. You're using your arms a little to push. Let's go, keep going. Just a little bit of push on your arm, but not much. Good. Keep going. Nice. There you go. Just stay with that side crunch. Very good. Nice, just feel that shortening between ribs and hips. 12 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, what's next? Single arm push up, remember that one? Get ready for that, 20 seconds to recover and then we go on the other side. Remember the number you are aiming. Maybe 10, maybe 12, maybe 15, maybe 20. It's up to your own level. Ready? On five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Single arm push up. Good. Here is a trick. If you want extra push, extra strength, make sure you feel your grip. So you're driving not just through your arm, but through your hand. Hand will be actively helping you to lift up. Keep going, everybody. Just drive out, drive it out. Very good. How heavy it feels. You see, you don't need heavy weights. You can use your own weight. Single arm, that's gonna give you a different feeling. Well done, everybody. Now remember the side crunch, we're gonna switch the side and we will start in 13 seconds. For 40 seconds, remember, we're just gonna be crunching by the side, good? Your arm on the floor will be just for support, so don't rely too much on the floor. Let's go! 40 seconds. Just reach. You can feel how you're shortening this side. If for any reason you need an option, you can always bend the knees. 
you can always bend the knees. So don't worry, you can always bend the knees, make it shorter, or you can land the legs to create a longer lever. Nine seconds, just crunch, lift it, four, three, two, nice. Well done, 20 seconds rest. Remember now we're gonna go with elastic band push up. So if you did the first round and you didn't feel too challenging, maybe you can try something more. In my case, I have one more level of tension on my elastic band, so I'm gonna go to the next level. If you want, join me. Just try to drop the chest, elbows slightly back, and drive out. Same feeling as before, you're having an active hand to drive out. Make sure your hand is strong, so that helps you to create upper back connection and also to have a strong upper body feeling, okay? You're creating a strong rack on the upper body. Keep going. 10 seconds. Five. Nice. 20 seconds rest. Let's go back into the side crunch, remember? Go back to the first side. If your first side was right, you're gonna go back to right. If your first side was left, you're gonna go back to left. You decide. You do your own workout. I'll let you go. Let's go. Just crunch by the side. Shorten. Lift it. Yeah, feels good, huh? Eighteen seconds. Just keep it continuous. No need to rush. Just continuous. Don't stop moving. Nine seconds. That's what strength also is. Endurance. Capacity to keep attention. That's good. Twenty seconds to rest. So we did push-ups. Now we're gonna go back into your posterior body. Remember, you're gonna stay seated and use the elastic band for face pull up without hitting your face please it's just a face pull good or you can always use your towel around the handle of your bottle got it choose the option that suits you the best great keep going guys keep going i will take the this option for the last 20 seconds just to give more feeling Yeah, as, as you're seated, you have the chance to create extra tension. You can sit on your, on your bed on your, or your couch, whatever you have at hand. <laughs> nice. 20 seconds. Remember going to the other side. On the floor, we're gonna go to the left side. For example, my left side is my second side. I'm gonna go for side crunch on the left side. Ready? Starting on five, four, Three, two, one, here we go. Don't, don't stop that side crunch. So I don't see you guys, but you can feel your body. Please don't feel excessive push from your bottom arm. It's not excessive push because you're taking work from your side. And this time you want work in the side. You don't want to keep your side lazy. You want to make it work. Reach, not just swinging, create control. Drive a little bit with your arm for balance. Nice. Very good, guys. Remember standing, and we're gonna go all break row. You can use towel, you can use elastic band. I'll show you another option if you have kettlebell. You can always do this one. Ready? Yes. That's how we become one kettlebell into a two-handle hand element. Just one thing, check the side. Don't let your body to rock. 
You're keeping that body strong, solid. Don't let it to swing back and forth. You're just activating your upper body. And your lower body, abs will be supporting. Elbows high, not hands high, elbows. Three, two, one, very nice. Last round, they don't have rest. Come down to the floor. Single arm push up. Go. Come on, come on. No rest. If you guys texting, you're resting. You need the arms to put them, put them down on the floor and do the push up. You don't have a chance to text. Woo. Don't worry, 10 seconds. Three. Nice. Well done. New move. You're gonna take either the bottle or whatever weight you have at hand, and we're gonna do Russian twist. Russian twist. Ready? On the floor. We're just gonna lift the feet off the floor and pass the weight from one side to another. Let's go. 40 seconds. Nice. Just twist from side to side. Make sure that element you're using is touching the floor. And make sure it's not too heavy. You want to keep steady feeling on the core of, of stabilization and activation. You just don't want to pull aggressively every time, but control. Got it? So, you can see if I use my 24 kg kettlebell, it's not the same control. And that's gonna make me lose balance. But if I use that bottle, I will get my objective. That's good. Release, come down to the floor facing down, single arm push up, single arm push up. Ready? Don't start yet. Eight seconds. Just keep this option in mind because I know some of you at home are saying this is impossible. It's possible. You can always use the towel and this is what we call assisted single arm push up. So you're sliding the hand, minimizing the work on that side, but giving you still some support and balance. You can also use that option. Or stay with this one. You choose. It's the last round, guys. We want to look better and stronger on the last round. Maybe try something different on the last round. But stay consistent. Five seconds. Yeah, great. Go back to rush and twist. Remember, moderate weight is not necessarily super heavy weight. You want control over quantity, quality over quantity. Ready? Starting on three, two, one. And if you want to increase the challenge, don't let the, the feet to touch down. From side to side, you can see. I'm touching the floor with my bottle or whatever you're using, maybe you're using a light kettlebell or light dumbbell, you can use, you can apply the same, touch down, touch down, maximize the range of your shoulder rotation and the strengthening of your thoracic muscles, that means the muscles between your hips and shoulders. Nice, great guys. I know some of you want some more for the next exercise. Remember, we're gonna use elastic band. So you can stick to what you've been doing for now, so far. Or if you have a share, you can try something different. You can spice it up. You will see, we call this incline push up. Sorry. Now you know what is inside. <laughs> Let's go. Feet on the floor, feet on the box. And yes, you're creating extra weight on that upper body by pushing the weight to the hands. Good, if you need to make an adjustment, you still have 14 seconds. Try to get the best out of your time.
Five seconds. Nice. Remember, we're gonna go back to Russian twist. So Russian twist can be bottle, can be weight, light to moderate. Light to moderate. Quality over quantity. Got it? Let's go. Lean back. If you're feeling challenged with lifting your feet, remember, you can always lean back more to make your legs lighter. Twist, twist. It's hard to breathe, so that's why when you twist, exhale out. Breathe out. Do not inhale when you reach down. Exhale, exhale. So it's much easier to reach down. Five, almost there. Ah, very nice. Let's go back to upper body back. Remember, seated or on the floor or towel face pull. Face pull. Remember the multiple options we have for this one. This one, or use the towel around the handle of the bottle. Let's go. If you don't feel enough tension in the elastic band, feel free to shorten your grip. So you can grip closer to your feet, make it heavier, but do not lose quality. So you don't look at home like doing crazy shapes. You're doing the right shape. Whatever gives you challenge, but don't lose your technique. Don't miss your technique, yes. Nice, well done. Remember Russian twist, Russian twist. Woo. Sit on the floor, your bottle, or moderate weight, starting on five, four, three, two, lean back, one, lift it, go. Big rotation, exhale, exhale, exhale. You can feel that, right? Exhale, reach deeper, reach lower. That's good, 17 seconds. Nine, eight, almost there. Keep going, five seconds. Ready for all right roll, three, two, one. For those having elastic band and kettlebell or weight, I have a special one for you. You can stand on your, your, your elastic band, grab the kettlebell or whatever dumbbell you have, or even the bottle, if you have a bottle with elastic band. Now we're increasing the weight without having a heavier weight. There you go. So you can always try this. If you're lost, remember, stand on the elastic band, twist, make it an X, then grip whatever grip you have, the handle of the bottle or the kettlebell or the dumbbell and just pull up. Can you feel that? Yeah. Now we have extra challenge. 10 seconds. Very nice. Three, two, one. Good job. That was three rounds of strength. We got one minute to get ready for the conditioning part. So watch these guys. Conditioning part will be simple. Four exercises, only four exercises. And that will be 40 seconds working, 20 seconds rest. Good? So first, first exercise will be very simple. Check this out. Frog jump to the front, hands on the floor, and crawl it back. As many reps as possible. Then 20 seconds rest, and then I'll show you the next move for the second one. Don't worry, I'll show you the next ones before we go. Bottle of water, dumbbell or kettlebell, single arm, sprawl, go up and lift up, switch the hand, down, 
lift up. Got it? So get ready. First 40 seconds. I'll do this with you. Front squat, bear crawl. 40 seconds. Let's start with me. Just jump, feet wide. And when you're doing the bear crawl, watch this. Your knees down. Find tension on the legs constantly. Keep going. 15 seconds. Don't stop. Don't stop. I'll play some more music for you. Three, two, one, rest. Now get your bottle. Remember, single arm sprawl, don't start yet. Single arm sprawl here, don't touch the floor. Jump the leg in over your head. Then you switch the hand and do exactly the same. Three, two, one, 40 seconds. Alternating the hand. Make sure when you go down, you hold that weight. If you're using dumbbell, if you're using dumbbell, you can always come down to the floor. This, this, snatch it, and then switch the side. Down, up, snatch it. Got it? Continuous. If you're doing kettlebell, something similar. Five seconds, four, Three, two, rest. Rest for 20 seconds. Next 40 seconds work will be towel over the head and just high knee running. Got it? Starting on eighth, seven. Leave your towel over the head. Make sure you're pulling so you get the muscles of the back. Let's go. Continuous. Leave the knees. This is also to spike your heart rate. So the higher you lift the knees, the more your heart rate goes up. The higher your hands up are, the more your heart is working. It's all to improve your cardiovascular. 15 seconds. Raise. Next move, watch this. We call it side plank burpee. Hands on the floor, jump to one side, almost like a side plank, and clap. Jump to the other side, and clap. Side plank burpee. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. Jump it to the side. It's high burpee. So your chest stays away from the floor. It's just like a big sprawl to the corner, and then stand up. Big sprawl to the corner, and then stand up. 20 more seconds. Don't stop, don't stop. Nice. Those are the four movements, and that was the first round. We will do two more rounds, and that's it for today. Ready? Frog jump, bowel bear crawl. Woo. Three, two, one, stay on the squat, go. Jump forward, walk it back. Not going up, not going up, stay down. And when you walk back into the bar crawl, knees down close to the floor. So you're also challenging your core while you're doing cardio. Ten seconds. Time. Do you remember the next move? Yes, bottle of water or dumbbell of ke or kettlebell devil's press. 
If you're using kettlebell, I'll show you the option. It's a bit more challenging. So come down to the floor, go up, catch, press, and reset. Scroll up, back, sorry. Jump in, swing, try to bring into your shoulder, then bend the legs, drive up over the head. So you choose. Whatever equipment you have at home, you can enjoy this workout. Guys, time. Next one. Does this give you a clue? Does this give you a clue? Eight seconds to start. Three, two, one. Focus on challenging your cardio. What about going faster? I cannot see you guys, but I'm sure by now you're slowing down. Speed up, speed up. Yes, come on. You can feel it on your heart. Whenever you're slowing down, your heart slows down. Lift it up. Spike it, spike it. Five, four, three, two, woo. Last move of the cycle, side plank burpee. Feeling good guys, I hope so. Hope you're feeling good. Five seconds to go. Three, two, one, go. Side plank. Can you see? Cross kicking out. But your hands stay square, your shoes stay square on the floor. Big challenge for your side. Five, four. Yeah. One more cycle. Four exercises, only four minutes. Ready? How do we start, remember? Frog jump, better crawl walk to the back. Three, two, stay down in the squat, go. Try to aim 10 to 15 reps. 10 to 15 reps of this. Three, two, one. Have a little rest. So notice. First exercise, you're pushing. Second exercise, you're lifting. Ready? Devil's press. And don't ask me why is it called Devil's press. That's the name. I didn't name it. But it feels like hell, right? Go! Use whatever option you want. I show you bottle, kettlebell, dumbbell. What's the best for you? Yeah, nice rest. Next one, yeah, guys, so I think we have learned on these days, 
that we can work out, that we can still stay fit, there's no excuses. We always have to adapt. Got it? Let's go. Keep going there. And listen, keep this in mind. Whatever obstacle you have on your head is just an obstacle, just an excuse. Focus on look for the solution. Whatever stress, whatever, stay worried, that comes from that feeling. Just overcome to it, look for the solution. That's why we train. Workout teaches how to look for the solution, how to hang in there. Uh, or sometimes it teaches how to face situations, no matter what they are. We just need to hang in there. We cannot change things, we just go. Ready? Last round of 40 seconds, side plank burpee. That's it for today. Three, two, one, go. Keep going, keep going. Whatever thoughts of stopping, giving up, just get rid of that. Turn it to something positive. Like, finish this. Like, you still have 15 seconds. Only 15 seconds. What about this? 10 seconds. What is 10 seconds? You just finish. You don't ask. Time. Woo. Well done, everybody. Let's have a couple of minutes to stretch, and that's it for today. So get your mat ready. Or if you feel like going down into the floor, just go down into the floor. So guys, today focus was on upper body. That's why we're gonna focus our stretching. A lot on the chest, a lot on the chest. So watch this. From this position, sit at this position, or this position, whatever feels more comfortable for your knees and hips, just bring your hands back and open your chest. But if you do this option, this one, you will also stress your quads. Fingertips pointing back, open up to your chest, lean back. You can let your head to lean slightly back. Your shoulders away from ears. Three, two, and one. Release. Now the opposite part of your body. So remember you cross the legs so you sit on your butt. Try to reach forward or come into this position for child pose. Just extend your fingers as much as you can. Feel the lengthening on the side of your body from the little finger all the way to your hips, to your butt. Great, now walk your hands to one side. You can choose right or left, whatever side you choose is good. Switch side, try to sit low, reach as far as you can with your hands. Great, now a little bit for the hips and shoulders. Watch this, if you feel like sitting on the squat position, do it. Or if not, just cross the legs. From here, bring your palm behind your back and try to hook your elbow in front of your, on your knee. So you're lengthening the back of the shoulder, some back muscles, and you're working on that range of mobility on your shoulder. And if you feel too much pain, just make it easier. Just bend the elbow, put it over your knee, and breathe. Switch side, and to the other side. Try to drop the elbow, then when, once you hook it, lift the chest. And yes, we're stretching the inner thighs, and we're getting that mobility into the squat at the same time. Three, two, one, well done everybody. Check the upper body. And guys, I don't have nothing else to say but thanks to you for joining me today. 
that was upper body and conditioning hope you enjoyed the session just a couple of things remember this session was focused on number one to improve your strength overall especially upper body but also involve your core number two the focus was to keep your core active during the whole session so maybe you notice we were working abs lower back glutes during the whole session to support every every move good i hope you have a good day and remember see you tomorrow if you want to join tomorrow at 9 a.m we're gonna have arm wrap meet zoom so we're gonna do a special workout with the colombians in zoom if you want to join us just text me i'll send you the link right after that 9 45 we're gonna do hatha yoga with ayu so if you want to mix a cardio workout with some stretching just text me or text ayu and we will share with you the link okay so everyone thanks so much for joining me today until the next time bye